So today's video regarding HP Dexjet 2655 all-in-one printer. I'm going to show you how to do the quick unboxing and setup, and I'll also show you how to install the starter ink cartridges in this printer. Uh, now this printer is capable of wireless printing. You can use it for the wireless printing and scanning. It also does the copy, and you can connect it with the home or office Wi-Fi easily. And in case you don't have that, you can use the printer's inbuilt Wi-Fi direct system, and that I'll show you as well in the later videos. So let's start. So these are the starter ink cartridges. And we also get the manual. As you can see some details regarding it. This is the power supply cord. And so here is our printer. So we also get instant ink which we can save up to 50% so that's a voucher we can use also here are the details so this is the booklet which is very helpful when you are going to use this printer for the first time now open the front door here you can see this is the paper output tray and we have to remove this and we can remove these here and we just have to remove this page from here so this end will go here now press the power button wait for the printer to uh, show all the details on the display panel and then we will install the ink cartridges So these are the starter ink cartridges which we get with this printer and once it finishes you can use the new ink cartridges and this printer uses the ink cartridge number 65. Printer is ready and we will install the ink cartridges so open the front door. So once we open the front door there is an ink cartridge chamber door here. Once you open it you will see the ink cartridge chambers just move and come here. Now we open the ink cartridge from the packaging. So you just you can cut it and remove. So here we see this is the ink cartridge. This is the black. You just have to remove the seal from here. Do it same for the another ink cartridge. This is the color ink cartridge. And you just have to remove the seal. Now install the ink cartridges one by one so black will go to the black side and color will go the color side as the markings are available here. You just have to slide it in and hold the printer with the other hand. Push it inwards it will lock itself and just repeat it same for the second. Once you do it we can close the ink cartridge chamber. Now we also load the A4 size sheets at the rear paper tray. So you can install the A4 size sheets here or just the size with the size adjuster uh, to use it wirelessly I'll show you how to do so press and hold the wireless button and information button and it will print a page so once we actually print this once we send that command the printer will print a page and it will display HP network configuration page. Here we look for the Wi-Fi direct option as you can see here and it also says the status it's on. It has security yes and that's the password of your printer. It displays the password here. So you can write down that it's 1234567 that is a universal password. In case if it's different you have to print this page and it will be displayed here also displays the name of the printer now we go and open the android device or iphone and we go to the wi-fi setup so go to the wi-fi setup of your android device or iphone and you will see the name displayed as direct 7 fhp dexjet 2600 once you click it it will ask the password and you can enter the password as it was printed and you will see it is connected go back open the HP smart app 
if you don't have that app you can download from the app store so once we open the hp smart app we need to add the printer here you can click on the plus button on the top of the screen now you can see it displays the name of the printer hp dexjet 2600 series click again and it will display all the details here so your printer is available now this is a direct connection between between your printer and your android device now i'll show you how to do the scanning for example so print look for the printer scan option which is here and also the icon available here so click on that now open the top scanner lid of the printer and here we can place a page we want to copy here we here we place a page facing downwards on the right hand side corner we want to scan now go to the device and click on the scan button so it will instantly send the command and it will start to scan uh, this has arrived here and if you want to add more pages you can just click on the plus button here open the top scanner lid and place the second page facing downwards and hit the scan button again so here we can see both pages are available now we can save it as a single pdf file so you can see the save button or share button both are available so click on the save and on the next you will see the format you can choose the name of the file and change it to the pdf and click on the save button so once you click on save and here you can see so it's going to be saved in this location so click on the save button so that is done and same way we can do the wireless printing and go to the print document section select pdfs photos whatever you want from any section here and just send a command once you are ready for example i'm going to print this one and here is the print option click print next screen you can change the number of copies how many pages you want and just click on the print button now just wait for the printer so that's the page 1 in case you want to use it with the wifi of your home or office then you can watch my other video regarding this printer and you can connect it with the wifi network thanks for watching